In this video, we'll be discussing tags or tagging within ActiveCampaign. Now, a tag is a piece of information you attach to a subscriber, and a subscriber can have an unlimited number of tags. Now, there are pros and cons to this. Since you can have an unlimited number of tags, there is a lot of flexibility, but also since you can have an unlimited number of tags, there's a lot of room to make things very, very complicated. And in a minute here, we'll cover some ways to make it as simple as possible. Now, subscribers can have the same tags, so Nathan can have the same tags as Hillary. You won't be assigning unique tags to each subscriber. It's not unique to the subscriber, it's more unique to your system. Now you can add and remove tags, and you can do this during when somebody opts in, so somebody enters their contact information into an opt-in form, or they purchase a product or a service from you, or they click a link in an email, or they view a page on your website, if you have the site tracking installed on your website. If they open an email, you could add or remove a tag. You can add and remove tags within automations themselves. You can also manually add and remove tags, and there might be a few other ways to add or remove tags, but those are the big ways. And tags allow you to segment subscribers, which is huge, because if you can get the right message to the right person at the right time, that's how you increase conversions and sales and grow your business. And tags also allow you to trigger automation. So say somebody opts in for a lead magnet, so you add a tag for that lead magnet, and that triggers the automation which delivers the lead magnet to that individual. So let me do a quick example so I can show you what a tag looks like. So here I am in Active Campaign, and I'm looking at one of my subscribers' profiles and we see the info section here and the option for tags. So this is what where tags will be present when you start assigning tags to individuals. So tag, tag one, tag two, tag three, Etc. So that's that's where the tags are present. You see it's just a little piece of information that gets attached to the individual's profile. And that's what they look like. So when you hear me saying tags, you you kind of get the idea of how they're connected to a different profile. And you just saw how you can manually add tags to individuals and how you can remove tags from individuals. So there's that real quick. Let me go back over to PowerPoint. Let me cover a quick tagging guide. Basically, you need a plan. Remember, since you can assign an unlimited number of tags to individuals, it makes it tremendously powerful, but also it gives you almost too much power so you can overcomplicate things and make it way too complicated and a big tangled mess. So you do need a plan moving forward. I do recommend creating a tracker, whether it's in Excel or Google Sheets or Word. I don't really care where you create your tracker, but that way, you can record the name of the tag and then what the tag actually does or what the tag represents. But I also recommend you create tag categories or have specific naming conventions for your tags. For example, some of the tag categories that I use are as follows. I have purchase, colon, product or service name, LM for lead magnet, and the lead magnet's name right there, then interest and the topic. So if somebody shows interest in a particular topic, I can assign a tag for that. And then I have looked at tags. So if they look at a specific product or service or a piece of content that I designate as significant, I can go ahead and assign a tag to that individual so I can keep track of what they've looked at so I can send them emails and correspondence based on what they've already looked at. Funnel and then funnel name. So if they're within a specific micro sales funnel like a webinar funnel or maybe a classic sales funnel so that way I can keep track of what funnels they're in at this point in time. And then I also use an active tag, and I'm gonna go over this in much greater detail later on in this course. But I essentially assign this tag to individuals that are actively engaged in an automation, and I don't wanna accidentally like interrupt them by sending a broadcast email or something along those lines. So I use that active tag to kind of segment people that are actively being sold to at that point in time, so I'm not so I don't accidentally distract them with something else. And then of course you can create your own naming conventions or tag categories, whatever makes sense for you and your business. It's entirely up to you. These are, these are the ones that I've come up with and primarily use. But again, you definitely need a plan moving forward. When I first got started with active campaign and tagging, I'd create different tags based off the name of the lead magnet they requested or product they purchased or the page they viewed. And I didn't have the 
categories in front of them. So it was just like sporadic names all over the place. And it was a big tangled mess. So I definitely recommend you implement some sort of categories or naming conventions. Or you can become overwhelmed incredibly quickly. So that is tagging in a nutshell. And I recommend re-watching this video again if you are brand new to tags because it is a concept you are going to need to understand moving forward. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed the training. Now I have a quick special offer for you. So if you want a digital copy as well as an audio copy of my book here, as well as 20 pre-written emails to make your email copywriting a piece of cake, and I also have a seven-figure funnel. It's the first funnel that I built that generated over seven figures of revenue for a small business. And the funnel includes a course on how to set it up and also how to actually sell that funnel to small businesses. So if you're interested in starting a digital marketing agency, that course and that funnel are, are an ideal option for you and there's a bunch of other benefits and stuff bonuses and stuff anyway link in the description down below or there's going to be a little button probably up here in the video if you're interested in checking it out yeah just just check it out if you're interested um and other than that i hope you have a great rest of the day